Recognize that you can have pericarditis, both acute and delayed pericardial problems. You can have myocardial problems causing systolic and diastolic dysfunction, endocardial or valvular problems, coronary artery disease issues, conduction system disease. But if you look at the radiation therapy patients here with Hodgkin's lymphoma and the cardiology effects, you can see that the incidence of coronary carotid, significant valvular heart disease is in the range of about six to 10%. But look at the median time after therapy. It's decades later. And valvular heart disease is the latest. One to two decades after these individuals have received radiation therapy, are we beginning to see significant valvular heart disease. Median time around 10 years for coronary disease, but about 10 to 20 years for radiation-induced mm -hmm. valvular heart disease. And when we see valve problems, it's mostly aortic stenosis and mitral regurgitation. Just a question that comes up, uh, do you think those patients who have a bicuspid valve and get radiation therapy are the ones who have the catastrophic, most catastrophic uh, results? Uh, it's just a thought that I have because bicuspid valves obviously progress much earlier to uh, stenosis than tricuspid valves. That's a, I don't have the direct answer. That's a wonderful thought and it makes sense. But I don't know that definitively whether that's true or not. To be able to share with your audience definitively whether the bicuspid patients are at higher risk than the tricuspid patients. Sorry. But just to highlight, when we're looking for radiation-induced valvular heart disease, please pay attention again to this extensive calcification of the mitral aortic intervalvular fibrosa. It's seen in about a quarter of patients and in isolation in about 8% of individuals that have radiation-induced uh, valvular heart disease. When we see patients who have had radiation exposure, we tend to begin the echocardiogram around 10 years after exposure because we've just shown the median time is 10 to 20 years. If they have normal valve structure and function, we might repeat the echo maybe every five years. If there's an abnormal valve structure, mild dysfunction, maybe every two to three years moderate dysfunction annually, and severe dysfunction, of course, we would be considering valve intervention. Right. I think a wonderful overview which highlights a problem that is maybe under-recognized uh, and that you should definitely be looking at in patients who had radiation therapy. Thanks a lot, Steve. Thank you.